In this video, we will discuss about information security governance. Let us now discuss about governance. Governance is the system by which an organization is controlled and operated. In simple words, governance can be defined as set of rules to direct, monitor and control the organization's activity. Governance can be implemented by way of policies, standards and procedures. Now let us discuss about information security governance. Information security governance is the subset of overall governance. Information security governance model is primarily impacted by the complexity of the organization structure. Organization structure includes objectives, vision and mission, different functional units, different product lines, hierarchy structure, leadership structure and other relevant details. So question arises, who is responsible for information security governance? Responsibility of information security governance preliminary resides with board of directors. Board of directors are required to make security an important part of governance by way of monitoring key aspect of security. Information Security Steering Committee monitors the information security initiative of the organization on behalf of the board. Information Security Steering Committee which consists of senior management from different departments has the responsibility to ensure that security aspects are integrated with the business processes. Involvement of senior management and steering committee in discussion and approval of security project indicates that the management is committed for security aspect. Let us now discuss what are the steps for establishing information security governance. Basically, there are three steps. First step, you need to first determine what is the objective of information security program. Once your objective is ready, second step is to develop the strategy and requirements to meet the objective. And third step, is to create the roadmap and identify specific actionable to achieve the security objective. So let us take one example. Objective of a bank may be to keep the system available all the time for their customer. So this is their objective, zero time downtime. Now on the basis of their objective, they need to develop strategy and requirements. What are the requirements to ensure that system is available all the times? Once these requirements are listed down, step 3 is to create the actual actionable to achieve the security objectives. These specific actionables are implemented by way of security policies, standards and procedures. So, question arises. What is the requirement for having a security governance? In another word, what are the objectives of security governance? To answer that, for CSM exam perspective, you need to remember five objectives of a security governance. First one is to ensure that security initiatives are aligned with the business strategy. To mitigate the risk to the acceptable level. Security governance should ensure that security processes are providing value to the business processes. Also, security objectives are achieved. And to integrate and align the activities of all the assurance functions for effective and efficient security measures.
let us discuss some key aspect from see some exam perspective which approach that is top down or bottom up is more effective for governance okay first let us understand what is top down and bottom up so in top down approach policies procedures and goals are set down by the senior management and hence policies and procedures are directly aligned with business objectives whereas in bottom up approach more emphasis is given on the procedural aspect and may not be directly address the management priorities so considering this top down is considered more effective for governance what is the most important aspect from senior management perspective in an information security strategy correct senior management will always be interested in business priorities objectives and goals thanks for watching